What's going on guys? It's Lego God 101 here. Today we're going to do a review on the Lego Marvel Superheroes Milano Spaceship Rescue. Set number 76021, ages 8 to 14, and has 665 pieces and costs $75. Or at least it says on Lego.com where I got it. It was $62. So anyways, um, I'm going to show the box in the end. So actually, yeah, we're going to show the box in the end of the review. So, yeah. So let's get on to the minifigures. First, we have Drax. A very detailed minifigure, as I do say so myself. Very detailed, like printing, hard to tell. But, yeah. has, has arm printing... On, t on both arms, has lots of good chest printing, has head printing and back head printing, a, a very detailed minifigure. To be honest, the most detailed like a superhero minif minifigure I've ever seen. For n f so far, of course, but yeah, cause there might be things. So first, he has, he has a six pack here with all the tattoos. He doesn't have tattoos on the back printing. And yeah, let's see, and he also comes with two knives, two weapons, two daggers. Yeah, very detailed minifigure. Next, we have Gamora. I like her hair printing. It's her hair. It's really, de it's really um accurate to the movie because he has all the purple, because she has all the purple braids or something, and she has a silver katana or sword. She has the same leg printing. All these guardians in the galaxy set in this set, they all have the same leg printing, which I can see why, because they all have all the same costume. So of course, she has the same leg printing. She has different torso printing and has back printing. Also comes with another head. So she also has an angry face, and also she has these silver marks. It's hard to see, but she has these silver marks. Yeah. They are usually really noticeable, but I guess you can't see them well now. But she has these silver marks that are really shiny and accurate in the movie. You can kind of see them. Yeah, you can't. It's hard to see them. Next, we have Peter Jason Quill, also known as Star Lord. So, it, so let's just. And before we get on to the main figure, of course, this is the gun he uses. This, Basically, Rocket Raccoon makes this gun to destroy Ronin, or, yeah, that's what this gun basically is. So, you can hold on to here, you can get these flaps out, just like in the movie. Yeah. P pretty cool little simple build. So, here we have him. He has, he has detailed leg printing, and I really like the torso printing. And also has some back printing, and also has his angry face. Switch him with the um, smiley face. And it's really accurate to the actor that plays um, Star Lord, um, Chris Pratt. It's it's really accurate, and also the hair's accurate. He also comes with take. He also comes with the hair piece. And he can take this off to put on his helmet. Same as the Lego Star Blaster Showdown. Showdown. Also, you can give him his helmet and. Give him these these things that represent the flying effect, and give him these two new blaster gun these gun things, which are accurate to the movie. I they're completely new molds. I like real I, the thing I really like about the Guardians of the Galaxy wave is all they're complete. They have completely new molds, which I love. So yeah, and also any Halo fans might want to get these um the set. Just saying, because of the guns and stuff. And also, next for the villains, we have Aldigo Sarkin or Kree Soldier. Very detailed um, printing. The red is supposed to represent the blood effect. Also, has the back printing. No leg printing, sadly, but oh well. It's, it's acceptable because the torso printing is really good. And also, he has um, he comes with a hood and a very, 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 very good gun. Completely new mold. You can also attach these blue studs, of course, and you can also not only hold it by here, but also by here. I've also seen the movie twice. Very accurate. I've seen the movie a while back. Also, his eyes are like this silverish, 
color, which is really cool. And also has another face. Very cool. Next up, last but not least, the main baddie of the show is Ronin. Um, so it has a simple weapon, of course, like his staff thing or whatever. Simple, accurate to the movie. And also he comes with the orb, which has the infinity stone in it. And here's him himself. And and also he has good torso printing and leg printing. Also has good back printing. Take the, this off. Good back printing. And also, um, he has a completely new mold for this um, headpiece, which is very cool. If this way, if you look at it, you look at it uh, from the back, in my opinion, if you look at it from the back, it looks really menacing. A really cool piece. Yeah, so, uh, like I said a few minutes earlier, of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy things are, he, Wave is, has completely new molds, which I love. Also has an angry face, which that, he has a serious face, but you can barely tell, you can see, you can barely see his mouth because of the black printing, but that's just like the movie. Yep, the orb just fell. Okay, and that's Ronin. Next, we have, um, a... Cree, um, I don't know, I don't know what you call this, a Sarkin personal, Ronin's personal, um, vehicle or something, because you can also put, Ro for a play feature, you can put Ronin here, like, oh, I'm Ronin, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't really like the design of this, but actually, it does, the thing I love about the, um, these things actually is that, it's like this mini spaceship. It's a simple little spaceship, which I love, but I'm pretty this is very not accurate to the movie. I did not I've never seen Ronin stand here. Yeah. But if they just made these a little bit shorter, they'll look kind of cool. Yeah, they just look kind of cool to be honest. And also you can put the also these are things also come to string load shooters, very effective. Also you can see the engines here. Very effective. Sadly, the Milano itself does not ha have them. Yeah. Also, you can open this up and put your Kree soldier in here. Pretty um cozy. Looks cozy in there. Might be looks really cozy in there. Cozy. You can also close that. Also, you can do do this and stuff. Hold on. One minute. Just need to get the spring load shooter. Next, get on to the Milano spaceship itself. So, this set has lots of stickers. Okay, now let's get on to the play features, first of all. First of all, if you want to put us in, like, landing mode, you get the wings out. Get this flat. This is it. This is a Milano landing mode, as you can see here. If I'm put in flight mode, sorry if I yelled. You just get these like this, and you can do it like that, and that is the Milano flight mode. Looks very cool, I love it. Also, yeah, I also love the part where it has like these things, like, like it's the triangular look, I really like, love that look. And also you can do this, and also, sadly, um, we do not have spring load shooters for the Milano, even though in the movie had tons of guns on it. So we have two guns here, they do not fire. But here we have two, um, of these new blasters we've got in Star Wars sets, which can also fire, which I love these things, actually. And then we have the horrible, woohoo, we have flick fire missiles. Whoa, let's shoot them. They're so effective. Woohoo. They suck. No one likes them. Why couldn't Lego just give us spring load shooters? Which are orange. Why? Why, Lego group? Why? But, okay, anyways. But they should get more guns on this. So here I have also this thing and this thing here that they don't fire. Also, I like these engines under here. So then you have the back. I uh, have these other little engine thingies. This thruster. Now let's 
And also, the thing I love about the Milano spaceship spaceship itself is you can open, so open this, and it's really accurate to the movie. The inside is really accurate, especially the color scheme with these um tan. I don't know what to call these tannish pieces. And also, the you can put Star Lord here if you in here if you want to. And also, the, I like the chair design. I really love it. Looks really like realistic. I just love it. So you can just put Star Lord here. I don't know why I'd be wearing a mask, but oh well. No, that's that's too weird. We have yeah. Here we also have the control panel. It's the same Star Wars running around the Millennium Falcon. Just do it like that. Also, you have these two seats here. You can put Gamora and Drax, but I don't want to put Drax. I'm too lazy to. Also, here you have these little yellow, yellow things, so, so it's connected to this yellow seat here. Also, pretty detailed. Not a lot of play features in this, so it's going to be a cool, pretty quick review. Also, he could put, like, Rocket Raccoon, but he does not come in the set. And here you have Star-Lord's famous boombox. I can just, if I can get the light in there. Hold on, I'm going to get my flashlight. Also, you have Star Wars boombox right in there, or yeah, you can also take it out if you want to. Actually, it's gonna take a while. Oh no, it takes a while, but it's pretty snug in this time. Yeah, this is bad. Oh no, where did So yeah, have Star Lord boombox, pretty cool build, and you could also open this up. You have like this. Oh darn! You can also open this up and have a little window here, and guess that's it for the set itself, really. And I'm gonna be honest, it's a very good set. I do recommend this set over the Quinjet because oh, there's a lot of play features, but it's still a good set. I love the design itself. The Lego group really did a good job with this. And here, I'll also use the box. I, I also love the box art. Looks very, very, very cool. And also, have the back here. All the features I showed you. Yeah, it's a pretty good set. I love this set. It's a very good set. Better than Quinjet. And also, the design itself. I recommend this set over to Quinjet. Not only because it's cheaper, we well, don't care about the cheaper, but yeah, the minifigures is also good, especially the new molds. And there's not a lot of play features, but for design wise, it's really cool. I bet lots of little kids would love this. Well, not really, but yeah, I recommend this over to, uh, over the coin jet. But if you want to get a playability set, this is also good, but actually, the coin jet's better for playability. But Overall, in my opinion, this set is much better than the Quinjet, of course. So, yeah. And I'm not saying that because I like Guardians of the Galaxy better, because I actually like the Avengers better. I know more about them, so. But I really like the design. I really like this set. The designers went a lot in this set. Clearly, they did. The designer who made this, or designers, depends. So, yeah. That's it, that's Lego God 101 here, and see you guys later. Bye.